This video is an edited English audio version of a video posted in Japanese audio on August 1, 2020. Good morning, Hero Wars fans. In this video, I'll show you how to play daily quests. Note that although English is selected as the screen language, the game screen may be displayed in Japanese on rare occasions. In the upper left corner of the basic screen, there is a daily quest. By completing these daily quests, you can grow your Hero Wars heroes. By playing daily quests daily, newcomers to Hero Wars can learn what they need to do daily in the game. The first daily quest is to earn 150 guild activity points to receive an enchantment rune. The enchantment rune quest requires completing four levels. The first achievement goal is 150 guild activity points, and once that is cleared, the next achievement goal is automatically updated to 850 guild activity points. Once another 850 guild activity points are cleared, the next achievement goal will be 1250 guild activity points, and the final goal will be 1750 guild activity points. Enchantment runes are an important item needed to raise the level of a hero's glyph, so be sure to reach at least 1250 guild activity points every day. However, when you are a few points away from completing an enchantment rune quest, you may not be able to complete the quest because you do not have enough energy in your possession. If you need several hundred guild activity points to complete the next daily quest, you may give up on completing the daily quest. However, if you can complete the daily quest by earning a few dozen more guild activity points, you can complete the daily quest using the method I am about to describe. In the lower left corner of the screen, there are icons that take you to the Titan Tournament, Pet Adventure, and Guild War screens. I call the current screen the first floor basic screen and the screen I am about to describe the second floor basic screen. When you go to the basic screen on the second floor, you will see a green rewards button in the upper left corner of the screen, and if you press that green button, you can see the guild activity points you have earned. Then, clicking the exchange items button on this screen will convert the equipment items into guild activity points. I do not recommend using this feature if you are just starting to play Hero Wars, but perhaps by the time your team level exceeds 80, you will be able to identify equipment items that are obviously surplus. By exchanging gray or green equipment items that are not expected to be used for guild activity points, you can complete daily quests and receive more enchantment runes. To encourage heroes to level up, it would be more beneficial to exchange these extra equipment for guild activity points to complete daily quests and receive enchantment runes, rather than exchanging them for a small amount of gold. Although there is a chronic shortage of gold once the team level exceeds 50, never exchange the hero's soul stone. Titan soul stone, or pet soul stone for gold. Beginners in particular tend to sell hero soul stones unnecessarily, but excess hero soul stones can be exchanged for equipment in the soul shop, which appears when an absolute star hero is acquired. Beginners tend to sell equipment items and exchange them for gold, but in this game, gold will become a surplus resource in the future, so exchanging valuable equipment items for gold is not recommended. As mentioned earlier, excess items can be exchanged for guild activity points to complete daily quests, so those who are in the habit of selling equipment items are advised to stop that habit now. Kenru would like to ask a favor of you who have watched the video to this point. If this video made you laugh and feel happy, please share the URL link to this video with your guildmates in your guild. Thank you for watching the video until the last part. I'll see you in my next video.